guess we'll go do a little hunting. We're waiting for Michael. He's not here yet. He's on his way in from Bozeman. I'm on my way to head to Idaho, and it's a whitetail hunt. Um, the plan here is I'm meeting up with my buddy Chris Neville from Go Hunt, and we both have whitetail deer tags in Idaho, and then we're going to come back on the 19th and then head out to another hunting area in Montana and try and shoot a whitetail over there as well. We just walked over to this other side and saw probably the smallest buck I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> It was a dinker. I'm surprised you even saw it. That was, yeah. a, that was a far shot. Well, yeah, we're uh, just kind of throwing on some rain gear because it's starting to drizzle a little bit. You gotta be adaptive, little, bro. Yeah, that's the key to key to deer hunting. Buck is still down there. He's down there sniffing where that doe is standing, doing that thing that they do with their gun. I'm sure there's some like biological term for it where they're like <laughs> smelling, he's sniffing. Dude. He's sniffing. He's, he's trying sniffing. To... Now we just need to go sniff on a white tail buck to shoot. Yep. Here for the longest time, I couldn't get. I was trying to get on him. He's just running. I bet you that's the biggest white tail we'll see on this whole trip. Like, that was like a legit 10 pointer. Tomorrow looks like we have some weather moving in. Could be a rainy one. See if we can get it done tomorrow. If we don't, we'll have one more half day and then uh, we're gonna head back east. I guess that's weird saying. Back yeah, east to the yeah, promised land. Yeah, back east to Montana. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day. <laughs> End of Wednesday night. Not gonna say it's over yet, but I feel the pressure, I feel the hunt coming to an end. I feel like it's been windy for like four days straight. It has been. <laughs> it has been. Yeah, I know. You got my number, man. Looking forward to going to the homeland though. At least we have an idea where there could be some bucks. And the good thing is, while we are focused on whitetails, it's a deer tag in Montana is a deer tag, so it's good for mule deer or a whitetail. So eight hours back to Montana. It's usually pretty good. We'll see what happens. I don't I don't want to be too confident. We just got our camp all set up. That low rock is 386. Now we might shoot at some rocks to see if our guns are on. Yep. Are you going to shoot one tonight? Dude, if one gives me the opportunity, you bet your ass I'm shooting that thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a stupid question. <laughs> First evening in Montana, Michael and I decided to just split up so we can cover some more ground. Just so we can kind of scout it out, see where the deer are at, and hopefully have a good game plan for the tomorrow morning. Some deers. Some mule deers. Looks like a bunch of does. I can't really see through all that brush, but there's a bunch. Yeah, there's a buck over there. A little forky. Dude, I don't know. I really liked where I was at tonight. I was seeing like does just like off the road. We saw a bunch of mule deer. And then on the way out saw the the basket rack. White tail with a doe. With two does. So, I think we should go over there. That's the most white tail I've seen in this area. What's tonight? I got high hopes for that area. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that country out there? Oh, the vibes, bro. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good Great vibes, vibes here. here. Where's the 
your way out there. Can't tell if it's a buck or a doe, but I think it's a doe. No buck. Michael went around this corner to do some more glassing. It's on the back side of this ridge. Buck right here. There's a buck right here. Must have saw something because he gave him the old. Vitals for just a second. I guess I'm really not worried, dude. We have till Wednesday. It's Saturday. I want to shoot. We gotta shoot, dog. We gotta start killing. Dude, I know. I should have just shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, there he is, bro. We just need to start knocking him down. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I don't care what day it is. Howdy, partner! What's up, bruh? Dude, where are these deer at, man? Man, <laughs> Jesus. I'm starving. Dude, these ones seem like bigger than normal. They are bigger. Cheese it big. Okay. Oh. All right, so we want to go there or do we want to go check out River Bottom? I'm going for either. What do you want to do? I don't know. Let's, why don't you make a decision? <laughs> what else you got in there you guys are munching on? Nothing. We're going to kind of head north here a little bit. So that's kind of our game plan. Keep driving, keep glassing, find some bucks, and sooner or later it's going to come together. Right, Michael? Yes, sir. Not worried. There's a tree in my way, but I can just see one doe. Doe, a deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself, far, a far, far way to run. You really know that song, don't you? Lot of does. Lots of does. Lot of does. Does everywhere. Does in my face. <laughs> Sun's coming up. It's we're probably shooting light right now. We're gonna hike like 200 yards, if that. Get a different angle. Find some bucks. Shoot a giant. And shoot them. Thing so bad. 
We got does on does on does. It's a doe party. We're just waiting for the box. There's a mule deer on here too. <laughs> mule deer doe. Dude, if I see one more doe, I swear to God. Got a, two little spikers out there fighting. So they're just like poking each other and stuff. It's pretty cute. Is it cute, Michael? Is that cute? Yeah. We wanted to go over there, but the bridge is out. So we're gonna have to come up with an alternate plan here. So we're kind of just <laughs> scrambling to find some areas we want to hunt. The good thing is that all this country is like really glassable. There's a lot to look over. Do what we do best. That's right. There's a buck. Oh, yeah. God bless your soul, Chris. Looks like it's kind of big. Chris spotted a buck 17 miles away. <laughs> God bless it, he's far. He's definitely the biggest buck we've seen in the trip, for sure. He's a big old four point. Yeah, dude, he's really good. Oh, geez. He's just so far away. He's really moving. Maybe we should try one closer. <laughs> I mean, I can sit here and watch him. And, like, hand communicate or whatever to you that, like, if he's there or not, or, like, what's going on. He's following that doe, so wherever that doe's gonna go is where he's gonna go. I don't know. Dude, this is a big buck. Yeah. I mean, I know he's in, if he's not in this canyon, I know he's gonna be up on top then. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is he still sitting there? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go, cause it's 2.30. Yeah. If you see me in the bottom, just, I'm gonna look up at you. Give me one of these signals, which way he went. Okay. And like, give me the stop sign if he's just there. Okay. I'm glad I wore my insulated boots, bro. Yeah. <laughs> just for a nice hot hike. God bless it. That's a steep mf -er. We're gonna take this ditch all the way around. And hopefully he's sitting right up in that canyon. From right here, he's like a thousand yards. Get in this ditch, shoot up the canyon. Hopefully he's still there. They're not in the spot where I last saw them. They're either down in there or they're up on top. So we're just gonna kinda go around. I still don't wanna go up in here. Just because they could be in there. In like a, there's a lot of nooks and crannies, but I'm just gonna go up on top and see if they're up there. I'm sitting up here looking at this buck that Chris is going after. I think that buck's in trouble now. He's bedded right out in the opening. I think he's looking at me with a spotting scope. He doesn't see him, dude. I feel like he's looking right at me. They gotta be right in this ditch somewhere. He says they're to the left. They're sleeping. <laughs> they're bedded to the left. The only thing is, he's got this stick right in his vitals. Like a huge log right in his vitals. So, we'll see if Chris can get the right angle on him. I have no clue how close it is. He could be 50 yards. But we're gonna get in here and see what we can do.
belly crawling to him right now. That bucket just started looking that way. Oh, he got him. Killed him. That is a nice buck! Yeah! Dude, big, he's a big buck. I gotta go see him. I cannot believe this! Oh! He's way bigger than I thought. that one he's in a hole no doubt about it we gotta hike out of here <laughs> we got a healthy hike out of here but well worth it I got nothing man <sighs> what a deer Tough feeling to beat, man. Now we just gotta hike them off the mountain. Oh, that's not too bad. That's better than an elk any day of the week. I'll tell you that much. Dude, it's freaking ginormous. Oh, bud. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Dude, you put a heck of a stock on that thing. Oh. Look at that. Dude, he's super wide. Nice job, man. <laughs> oh, buddy. Heck yeah, Michael. Congrats. Congrats. That's why I like coming hunting with you, bro. Appreciate everything, really. Dude, That's he's a perfectly stud. matching. I'm That's insane say. how, like, these are matching. Identical. <whistles> Holy smokes. That's like a buck you go to Colorado for. Yeah. That's like... That's real big. Figured out how to do something for you, boys. Anytime. Anything for you, Luke. Michael is so nice. Look, he made us brats. Come back to brats and water. My clothes were a little wet, so I want skins for a hawk. Mike, are you feeling good about this? Not really, honestly, no. <laughs> I'm not. I hope we find one, but I just like, I'm a, like, I expect the worst, you know, and then hope for the, like, if something good happens, then I'm happy. But that's just the way I am. You probably wouldn't be able to tell, though. Like, I feel like most people think I'm a pretty positive person, but deep down inside, I'm, like, super negative. <laughs> There's just a bunch of deer down in this field. I think it's a bunch of does, but... We've seen so many spikes. It's a forky, but barely. Dude, I've seen deer you passed. You would not shoot this one. <laughs> it's this big. I don't know about this spot right now. It's also not really whitetail habitat, but I figured if there's a big old mule deer, he might be in here. But I'm wrong, so. It's the night before Thanksgiving and Jonathan and I both have plans for Thanksgiving. Don't want to get back at like midnight or 1am. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? 
Uh, we're both going to our girlfriend's family's house. It's the in-laws. Not really the in-laws because we're not married. Definitely skip that. Go on. Dude, well, here's the thing. Randy gave me this piece of advice, and this is true. Just like said the president that like this is normal. Like I go hunting on Thanksgiving. Like it's a, it, I do usually. So like when you have a girlfriend and she's new, like it's your new girlfriend, you set that president right away. It's like, I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I think it. I think it's good advice. Down there, Doctor Phil. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching, y'all.